guys, and welcome to Top 10 Worst We Party You Minigames. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, comment down below what your least favorite We Party You minigame is. So, at number 10, we have Balloon Boppers. So in this game, you have a little hammer, and you have to pop a balloon on top of the player's head. I find this game just kind of annoying to control it. It just never feels like you can get the perfect angle to kind of, you know, pop the balloon. And I also feel like it's a bit generic compared to a lot of other games, and it's a lot, just not as fun as a lot of the better We Party You minigames, in my opinion. At number 9 is Zig Zagret, I think I pronounced that correctly. In this game, a gamepad player um, just kind of taps blocks on the screen and has them fall to hit their opponent. I find this game just really easy if you're playing with people just kind of hit them it's really easy to kind of corner them and make sure they don't escape but the reason it's lower than some other games that are unfair is i don't know i kind of find it fun even though it is unfair it's kind of that fun unfair mix if that makes any sense so yeah number nine is zig Zagert. so balance broncos is at number eight and in this game you basically just have to tilt the uh, Wii around uh, left and right in direction. It's just kind of boring, if that makes sense. A bit generic. And um, I feel it, I remember it was originally planned for Mario Party 9, but uh, was scrapped and didn't just put it in this game. And I feel like it fits the Mario Party feel more than a Wii Party game, if that makes sense. It just feels a bit off in the mix of other Wii Party U minigames. So, now, at number 7, we have Recipe Recall. This one's another one of those Memorize the Thing minigames that I think we saw in Wii Party and a bit in Wii, this game as well. And I don't know, just like those games, it's not as fun. It's just not, really. And it feels pretty easy in a weird way. Because it always feels like they pick multiples of something. Or just, it's really hard to get it wrong because it feels like they pick all of them except like one. If that makes sense. So it's kind of easy to kind of memorize some of them. Because you don't really have to do all of them because there's four people. So you just have to memorize most of them and then, you know, just put it in the pot thing. At number six, we have tube tossers. So this is basically like Splash Bash from the original Wii Party, but a worse version of it. I Basically, you have to flick these like tubes to catch other players, but it doesn't feel, it always feels like the tube just bounces off. And I find myself looking at the gamepad and then looking up, but by the time I look up, the players have already moved and stuff. And it's also just not as good as Splash Bash or as fun, really. And it's, I don't know, it's just a weird game where it, it feels like it could be good, but it just isn't, if that makes sense. I don't know, it's just kind of boring. So next up is Sumo Smackdown, and this is the only tabletop minigame to make the list, which is surprising because I don't really like the tabletop minigames. In this one, you basically just have to press down on your, like, sumo person and have them like try to knock the other one over it just feels kind of inconsistent to me i feel like if, no matter how hard i press it all just doesn't work i always just fall over and it could be me it could be the game i don't know and i also feel that it doesn't use the game mechanics of like using the gamepad good enough compared to other games i just feel like it's kind of a bland just gameplay which makes it less fun in return Next up is Super Snow Sliders. In this mini game, you basically have to use the Wii Remote to run like really fast, and then at the right time, you have to jump onto the uh, like snow thing. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. What I don't like about this mini game is I've never been good at it. Just to say it simply, no matter how f fast I try and run, I always seem to just get like last or like second to last place. It just never feels like I'm doing it right, and I don't understand what's do what I'm doing wrong. It just kind of feels like meh to me. At number three is Assemblebots. So this game is basically a ripoff of the pair mini game 
in the original Wii Party. And that's what I don't like about it. I feel like it being a pair mini game was a lot better than how it's done now where it's basically competing. When it was a pair mini game, it felt like you were working it together to assemble this robot. But in this game, it just kind of feels mad. Like, sure, you can you completed like a robot but you don't really feel anything for it until the end so next up is balanced diet and in this mini game you basically have to balance fruits so that they go on the blue part of the scale i feel like this mini game shows the real problem with wii party U as a whole the problem being that it's too complicated to be a wii series game when i think of games in the wii series i think of games that are simple to pick up and understand while also being just fun and stuff but i feel like this although it's fun takes away a lot of that simple aspect that the original wii party had it was like a simpler mario party but now it just feels like a knockoff mario party and I feel like it doesn't really make sense. I feel like this mini game in general is just a bit too complicated and a bit too confusing. And it never feels like fun at all. It feels really slow. And I feel like that's another issue is that it's just so slow. I don't know. It's just not a fun mini game in my opinion. Next up is Catch a Wave. And in this Wii Party U mini game, you have to yell or like basically just talk into the mic to make it go in certain like the sound waves to go in certain directions and it's just not fun for both sides for the three players it's too easy and for the one player it's too hard i guess that's kind of the opposite of what it usually is is where for the one player it's too hard for the three players it's too easy but i don't know this game just isn't fun at all and it's a weird premise because the mic in basically all of the Nintendo consoles it was in felt too underpowered to do something like this. But I feel like Nintendo was just like, okay, let's do it, why not? And I don't know, it always felt off. It's one of the games I just don't like playing, like ever. <laughs> Three! 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 Three!